Hi there, it's Patrick at StopSpraying.com again. Uh, I want to give you an update on the uh, video that I posted yesterday on the uh, bit massive engineered cam bomb outside of uh, Chicago. Uh, it is now uh, Friday, June 15th at 5.36 p.m. Pacific time. And this is the one from yesterday. Night falls and look at this area here. Boom. There's like four or five of them all just blow off at the same time and spread out. So all this stuff happening here. There's a there's a boom there, but like watch this area here. Wham. Um I noticed just before they set off there are some there's blue. And we wait till it gets dark again here. Uh, blue stuff here in that area BAM! I think there's five of them and they rapidly expand and uh, and up here uh, that you can see the EMF afterwards let, that, let it cycle through BOOM ZAP in this area here, EMF activity. So th this is at 30 minutes. I'm gonna uh, bring the interval down from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. So it'll so I'll concentrate on the um, from the beginning of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chem bombs expanding. It's actually a little uh, processor intensive. Um, it'll it'll speed it once it'll be all load in. Uh, but yeah, so uh, same place, same shenanigans, and um, they start at night from about six points along this line here, and uh, I've got quite a bit of. Uh, I've rustled the jimmies of the the shells. Uh, they're all like, "Oh no, this is this is oh this is perfectly natural. It's from solar flares. It's from whatever. Oh, I don't know anything." Well, I know to create steam, uh, water vapor, which condense this condensed steam. Yeah, here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points along this line expanding rapidly. You need an energy source, you know? Um, your kettle doesn't boil unless you turn the heat on. And um, yeah, this is... Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what goes on tomorrow. Will there be another huge thing? This came out of nowhere. Well, it didn't actually come out of nowhere. This area right here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, no bueno. Yeah, it's a, a little slow, but you know, what can you do? Anyway, so that, that's uh, your sky on chemicals. And again, like I said last time, uh, we are we shouldn't just think uh, that the uh, activity in the sky is just from planes leaving trails. Um, yeah, you can see this here, you can see the... Uh, Will it speed up? Yeah, here they gr here they're growing. Uh, the this is fifteen minute intervals. Very rapid expansion, very rapid expansion. And there's all, all other kinds of crud here as well. So I'm gonna zoom out. If it'll let me. That's too much. Sorry about that. It's actually a pretty cool site, this. Uh, this is uh, the GOES-16 geostationary satellite. It takes a picture every um, 15 minutes. So you get this these animations of uh, shenanigans all over the place. And actually around here you can see uh, um, 
similar sort of thing going on. It's like I said, it's a little slow because of the uh, the processing and bandwidth and stuff. Okay, so wait, wait for it to get dark. Now it's dark. And while it's dark, these things are expanding. Uh, there's an energy source of some sort. Uh, there's wet surface evaporation, perhaps, or something. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, you can see all, all across South America here. At nighttime, before the sun comes up, uh, generating all of this uh, energy. We need energy to create these uh, plumes. So, yeah. And you can also see them across the... Um, oh, yeah, th there's this is the one I was telling you about before. In any case, you get the general idea. All of this information is here for you if you want to go look for it. None of this is hidden. The fact that they are screwing with the the weather of the entire planet is not a secret. Uh, they won't admit it's going on, but if you just care to look, it's right there. So anyway, so uh, it's uh, so I think that's all for now because uh, this has taken too long to redraw all this stuff. But uh, anyway, that's all for now. Talk to you soon.